What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video and the Junk Store update. So I originally covered this a few weeks ago as a new way to install Epic Games and this has worked great and it's gotten better since then. Now we're adding in GOG Game Launcher, which is great to see, but this is handled a little bit differently than Epic was, especially with the popularity of that. So I wanna talk about that in this video a little bit and take a look at everything again. So let's get into it here. You will need to use Decky Loader on your Steam Deck to do this. This is one of my favorite things to use on the Steam Deck for all kinds of different plugins and stuff that you can really do to customize and get more out of your Steam Deck. I have a new updated guide on this if you want to go check that out. I'll have a link in the description as well for everything Decky Loader. Now as far as supporting the dev, there's lots of ways to do that, but specifically if you want to get into GOG right away, that will be in beta form in the Faithful tier of Patreon. As it moves on down the line, it'll help Trailblazers and so on, but help to help kind of control things and have a lot of people testing this, but not too many at once, that's how things are going to start off here for GOG. You'll also be able to check out their GitHub page and some initial videos we made, instructions and that type of thing. So again, links for all this in the description uh, below. And also, if you haven't joined their Discord already, that's a great place to go and be able to talk to the junk store community, the devs, get answers, ideas, that kind of thing of what's going on with the project. So lots of great stuff there. And in junk store, once installed on your Steam Deck, you'll have all the links available to you here right in that app as well for supporting and getting the information that you need. Now, it's also good to have different versions of Proton available, like Proton GE, in case you need to make some changes on your own and have them on your deck ready to go. Now, I've done this on the desktop most of the time by using Proton Up QT. I've had plenty of guides on that, but you can grab that from the Discovery Store, install it, and be able to install different versions of Proton GE to run different games and things if you need to be able to do that and have different versions on your Steam Deck. Now, the desktop way isn't necessarily the easiest anymore, especially since you're going to need to have Decky Loader anyway, you're able to do it from there, and I'll show you that as well. But for those of you that still like to do this through the desktop or through Proton Up QT, you can do that here still as well. But also, if we go in here and you go into the store and search for Wine Cellar, you'll be able to install that here, go to Manage, and you can get all of your different Proton GE layers and all that right here as well, along with some other stuff. But you can easily install and uninstall those right there. Now, as far as once Decky Loader is installed, we go into the settings here. I'm running the pre-release and the testing store. Now, there is a junk store version on the default or the stable store, but the better version currently is on testing, and I do kind of recommend going for that right now if you want to grab this. As far as the actual store, go in here to testing, and we're going to, of course, go down or search for junk store, and once we see that, we're able to just go ahead and install it. I already have it installed here, so I don't need to do it again, but it's really just a matter of seconds just like a lot of the other plugins and it installs quickly for you and then it'll show up in Decky Loader. So quick access menu, Decky Loader, and Junk Store is going to be in here and you see I have Wine Cellar and a bunch of others there too. So we go into About and you're going to have, of course, About and Dependencies, Custom Backend, all these different areas that we can go into. And this has actually grown since it launched a few weeks ago as well uh, in here. So a little bit more information. But in About at the bottom, Enable Developer Mode, there's a cool shortcut we can use. So if you want to be able to do that, make sure you enable developer mode and it gives you that developer tab we'll get to that in a minute but dependencies right here is something if you haven't already installed those you're going to need to do the first time running junk store here so make sure you install those and you may need to reinstall them from time to time with updates i've found a few times i've had to do that uh, besides that we also have reload the scripts install proton easy anti-cheat and battle eye uh, they're right there for you if you haven't already installed those on your steam deck custom backend for those of you that want to be able to get into that We've got the additional support page right here. And then earlier in the video, I showed you links. So all of those links for all the different pages that you're going to need to get to are right here as well. And then besides that, we have logs. And then all the way at the bottom, we're going to have the developer page. And that's where we're going to be able to see the enable double stick quick access. You click that on and then you can actually from other places in your Steam Deck, instead of bringing up quick access and everything, you can just click these and go to either games or about right into junk store right away. That's a really cool, easy to use shortcut that I recommend uh, enabling if uh, you want to. They're just an easy way to get back and forth. So I thought that was a neat idea thrown in there. All right, so now I have GOG and Epic, not just Epic here, with access to that, which is really cool. And both are still working really well here. So we'll take a quick look 
scroll down through. I have a ton of games on my Epic Game Store. I only have a few over on that GOG account, but we're going to take a look at everything here. Some of the settings have changed a little bit, but mostly you can still toggle your installed and, and uh, all of your games and that type of thing. Fall Guys is now working much better, which we'll take another look at. Um, we have our search bar and then we have some settings in here. So refresh game list and saw EOS overlay and all of that. Uh, go over to our gear icon for the other settings. We have basic configuration, advanced and expert. So you can get into more settings if you want. Um, starts off with basic, which is easy and gives you install location. So SSD or micro SD, uh, easy to change where you're going to want to install your games, which is cool there. Now this little store tab is a new thing, which is a really cool one. So if you click on that, this is pretty simple, but it's just going to open up the Epic Game Store. And this is touchscreen only, but it works really well. And you can go in and take a look at sales, buy games, uh, get the the free games maybe claim those add them to your library right away and just do all this from game mode and from junk store so that's also a little neat add-on that wasn't there before now minus that store tab everything's going to be similar over here for GOG now as well and all seven games you see here have ran and worked great for me so far here uh, through this same little thing here with our settings our SSD our micro SD and all that just like over on Epic uh, we just don't have an additional store tab here we do have our login just like Epic so if we click login, it's going to take us to an extra uh, separate login page here. And once that loads up, I'll be able to log into my account. And once you do that, it'll just take you right back on over. And then you can see logged in as Extreme Raider here on this account. So these seven games are in here. And again, these seven all ran on here just fine. They installed fine. Uh, I played them all about an hour or so and didn't have any crashes or issues with those. And I've played five or six games over in the Epic Game Store so far. Um, yeah, but some changes here to the media and the artwork and just the way things are laid out uh, looks really nice here. This menu is similar to my last video, but it seems to work a bit smoother, but it's user friendly. And you can see you can toggle on and off your battle eye and your anti cheats, uh, Vulcan and stuff like that. Frame rate caps and all that right here easy to use in junk store so not much of that has changed but it's all still here ready for you to go proton tricks is still incorporated into here um, and all that and again just through optimization i feel like the whole system seems to be working a bit better than when this launched a few weeks ago so I've been able to successfully uh, install, uninstall, and launch games all from Junk Store, and it works really well. But what's cool is you don't just have to do that. Once you install games from Junk Store, they'll just show up here in your game library as a non-Steam game, which is cool. So if I go in here to non-Steam games here, this is the games I have right now. Sleeping Dogs, Batman, Tomb Raider, and Fall Guys all installed from Junk Store at the moment. So that's pretty cool. And then with that double-click shortcut, right back over to games here. Uh, with that so let's jump into Fall Guys real quick over on Epic and I tested uh, like a few games on Epic they've been working well I showed some in the other past video Fall Guys was not working for me uh, but now with the fixes in place I didn't have to do anything I installed the game launched it and it just worked out of the box right off the bat nothing no issues with the anti-cheat or getting into matches or anything like that so that was cool I'm not a big Fall Guys player but it's cool that it's running the way it should now I was having some problems with that and uh, I think it's running really well probably better than maybe the other side loaded uh, epic game store that i've had on here myself so yeah it's nice to see that this was fixed up and working well over on gog again i've tried all these games so far and they're fine they're working on compatibility list i believe as well i'm trying to test more and more games but same thing here launching games uninstalling games all that right from junk store or from the steam library no problem at all here for me so here we go launch right into batman we have our settings we actually used to have some issues getting this game to launch on the steam deck but it seems to work quite well these days but yeah here we go into the beginning of batman again i put about an hour into each of these seven games they all worked well for me on here and just jumping around back and forth and um, I know there's a ton of other games on GOG. This is just like on Epic, whether and, and on the Steam Deck in general, whether games want to work properly or not, is just going to be something that is per game. You got to try them out and see what works. Hopefully with this method, more and more games will work better uh, than some other methods as far as side loading. Uh, Sleeping Dogs being another game that I love and worked well on here. Again, no crashing or problems, good performance. 
Um, so hopefully a lot of the GOG games for people will work well on here as well as Epic Games, but I don't expect everything to work. And remember, all this is still brand new from Epic to GOG to the Junk Store. It's all kind of beta and a lot of it's being worked on pretty quickly. Updates are happening quickly and all that. And I know there's a lot of plans for Junk Store and all these launchers and stuff in the future as well. So just remember you're getting into something really at the beginning here. It's a really cool project that I like seeing here on the Steam Deck and hopefully we'll get more and more launchers and different ways to play more games here on the deck. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.